great Tuesday morning. This is indeed the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We rejoice that we're able to experience a new beginning yet again. We thank the Lord. And we would have gone to Psalms 23 because of today's date. And we know that the Lord's promise is that he will continue to be our shepherd. We will not need anything because he is right there with us. He leadeth us in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He, I hope we were able to get a good night rest last night because we lie down in green pastures. And because of that, we have restoration of soul this morning. Yes. And because of that, now he will show us the path to go on today. He'll point there. He'll point there. We have to follow. There will be a voice behind us saying, this is the way to go, but we have to listen. Even if we cannot audibly, physically listen, we know that it's in our heart. We know that inside the word heart is the word ear. And he wants to sharpen our hearing with our inner being, with our soul, so that we will be able to do all that he would have us to accomplish today. We are in Joshua 21. And because of the promises of the Lord, this is a reminder that he will not fail. I know I had a couple of students in the last few days, like, what can I do to bring my grade up? Because bam, I'll, I'll put an F in a second in a progress report because that is to alarm the family. F is for family. Listen, guys, something needs to change. Either there needs to be an adjustment in the schedule or there need to be a putting down of the phone or something. Some type of, of altering of the life. Well, listen, we know that our Heavenly Father, even though that starts with the F, He will not fail us. Oh, I was thinking about that song. There is no failure in God. And in verse 45, it says, There failed not aught any, aught of any good thing which the Lord hath spoken unto the house of Israel. All came to pass. There was a passing, right? That's what people want to do. They want to be able to be triumphant in whatever endeavor. And in another version, it says, every single good promise that the Lord had given. Can we say that today? Yes. The Lord has given us so many rich, beautiful blessings and promises. We just have to recognize that he is the source and we have nothing to woo, be about. No, mm -mm. because when we stay in the presence of the Lord, our heart, we saw that yesterday, our heart is fixed, trusting the Lord. So come what may, there are going to be some tests. There are going to be a lot that happens today, but we know that thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they strengthened me. They're with me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Hmm? So we know that there will be situations, but <laughs> he anointed our head with oil. That cup, right? It's running over. It's, 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 it's abundance. It's overflowing. There's surplus because the Lord is the God of extra plenteousness and he will never run out. His blood will never lose its power. That's what I'm saying. There's no shortage of a supply. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. That's in Psalms 113, 3 and 4. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Yes, blessed be the name of the Lord forever and ever from this time forth. Yes, praise ye the Lord. And who is like unto the Lord our God who dwelleth on high? No one, no one, not even 
<laughs> you can't think of anyone, not a president, no type of administration, no type of team. And he will make us, he has hopefully, I hope we have realized this, but it says in verse nine, he maketh the barren woman to keep house. We might feel empty today, but listen, he has already filled us. So that barren woman, that barren man, that empty, you know, the person who has some voids or who is longing for something and can't have it. Listen, he make that barren person to keep house. Listen, to keep house with the things. He said that he will bless us in our chambers with every pleasant and precious gift. Don't you know that the chambers of our heart, the chambers of our life, the chambers of our mind, listen, every room will be filled with the presence of the Lord. And then it says, and he makes us a joyful, <laughs> fill in the blank, a joyful teacher, a joyful retiree, a joyful grandfather, whatever. He can make you joyful, student, whatever. He can make you, fill you with his presence. So we could go on doing the work of the Lord, being who he would have us to be today. Teach us to do thy will, for thou art our God, thy spirit is good. Cause us, Lord, this is our prayer today. Psalms 143, 8, I just heard the bird. Calls us to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for in thee do we trust. Calls us to know the way wherein we would walk. He will guide us in paths of righteousness for his name's sake, for we lift our soul unto thee continually. Have a wonderful day in the presence of the Lord, knowing he is with you and he is your shepherd.